Um, to be honest, no. This is the next opponent. Um, it's a great opponent that we have coming up. Um, we've got to find a way to stack what we did last week. So that's the, the goal right now, and that's what you know we're, we're focused on moving forward. Hey, Kelvin. It seemed like Kyler was pretty comfortable in the pocket against the Jets. Were you guys happy with the pass, pass protection in general for him in that game? Um, it was solid, but uh, we know that we can still do some things better. So I'm excited to go back out uh, this coming up week, know that we have a much better front, um, much better edge rushers, both interior and uh, exterior um, that we have to take care of. So uh, week in and week out, the goal is really to, to protect them um, as best we can. And we did, like I said, did a solid job, still had one sack in the game, uh, allowed a hit. Um, and I don't think as offensive line, we played a complete game yet. Uh, so we still have some things that we need to work on. Yeah, Kelvin, you kind of talked about, you know, protecting Kyler and, and, you know, he did get hit. But, you know, jokingly, I, I want to uh, talk to you about a, a moment where you, I think it was you that hit him in the celebration after the Chase Edmonds run. That might have been his hardest hit of the game. Was there a part of you that said, oh, no, I just killed our quarterback? Well, I, I, you know, the thing is, Kyler is, he's a little sturdy little, little dude. So I thought, um, you know, it was going to be some, some side of contact and, you know, it was going to be a great celebration. But, uh you know, I uh, figured that'll probably be on, um, you know, Monday Night Football for, for uh, the, the wrong reason. So uh, it is what it is. But, um, you know, when you're having fun, things like that happen. Uh, and I think that's a, a great thing to do is be able to celebrate with your quarterback. But I do have to take much better care of him um, in that particular regard. Next up, Josh, Bob, Nick. Hey, Kelvin. Um, since you've been teammates with De DeAndre, have you guys had any talks about – his his background, his passion for history, especially black history, said he reads a lot about it. Um, the thing is, is you know, he's a very intellectual individual. Um, it's a number of intellectual individuals on this team. So we have uh, a number of conversations across uh, a number of different topics. So um, glad that he's a teammate. Uh, glad that we've had a chance to, to bond. Um, you know, him and him and um, uh, Hump are from the same area. So so hearing their stories from from kind of where they grew up. So we, we get a lot of those those stories. Uh, I can't remember what the area code is, but we hear, hear that area code quite a bit in the locker room. Hey, Kelvin, uh, if you could put yourself in Kyler's shoes for just a second, how pumped up do you think he's going to be for that Monday night showdown in his hometown? Um, you know, Kyler is, is somebody that, you know, I think he has just level head. Um, where he's been there before, he's been in big situations before, um, he's been in big games before, he's won a lot of games in Texas before. So I think he's approaching his game as another opportunity to showcase um, his talents and showcase what this team can do. Um, so, you know, I know he was excited to go back home, but at the same time, I think he's, he's been there before. Um, he's done this before. He's been down this road before. So, um, and he approaches the game in that particular fashion. So know that he'll go down there and do what he needs to do for us to, to get a W. Kelvin, this might sound simple, but when you guys come back to the facility after a win, does it feel different than a week ago when you come back and you've lost two in a row? Um, it's different, but at the same time, we didn't play good football Sunday. Um, there were some things that we, especially offensively, we left a lot of points out on the field. Um, you know, I think as an offense, we still have some maturity we have to do. Um, when you have a team down by two possessions uh, with the ball, uh, at the beginning of the third quarter, you got to find a way to get a score. Uh, you have to find a way to put the game away before we get to the fourth quarter. So as an offense, I, I feel you know that we still have to, to mature a little bit and find a way to, to have that killer mentality to be able to put teams away when we need to and continue to put that fear um, into opposing defenses that we can just put up a lot of points. And, you know, again, we had that opportunity in the middle of the third and didn't do so. So coming into the building, we know that there's still room and a lot of room for us to grow and develop as offense. Wrap it up with the last four, Catherine, Kyle, Josh, Howard. Hey, Calvin. Um, with the donation the other day from the Players Coalition of um, all the laptops, I was wondering two things on that. One, you know, there's obviously so many worthy causes right now, and you're a part of so many, but what about that in particular um, was important to you? And kind of on the flip side of that, um, how how old are your kids right now, and what's their school experience been like um, this fall? 
For sure. So, so the recent, the recent do donation went to uh, a community out in West Texas where there is a limited, very, very limited access to the Internet in general. Um, and there's so many issues that are going on in, in, in our communities, you know, not only here in Arizona but across the nation. Um, but wanted to be able to, to, to do something there in my home state of Texas. Um, but Ector County uh, has some issues with just access to, to, to the Internet, um, so was able to put and able to provide um, in conjunction with some of the, the folks there on the ground, resources to be able to have access to the internet. So people across that county uh, could be, you know, the kids could be able to, to, to enjoy what, you know, their, their right to education and being able to have access to education. And then the ages of my kids are five, two, and one. Um, and I must say that uh, online kindergarten is not easy. Um, coming home from practice and then having to do um, kindergarten homework uh, on BuzzFeed, on um, Seesaw, and uh, I can't remember, it's another virtual app that they have to do. I, I'm not uh, a fan of virtual kindergarten right now. Um, so it is, it's been, it's been different this year. Now, this is the first year that I've had a child in the public school system before. Um, you know, my oldest is five, my, my son is two, my daughter is one. Um, so I have, have yet to have a, a child in um, you know, the public school system. So I, I would say to any parent, um, any family that's having to go through this process of trying to educate uh, your child or try to send your child to, to get education during this time has to be very, very difficult um, and has to be very challenging. And I can tell you from experience, um, Wednesday and Thursday after practice, I am not uh, – I'm working to be a better father during that point in time uh, because doing homework um, after I've been in the building all day is not something that uh, I'm good at right now. So I've got some work to do. It's still got, you know, they just, they just finished fall break. So I had a week off last week. So we'll see, uh, you know, if I'll be doing social studies, science, or math tonight when I, when I come home. First off, good luck with the homework and the continued teaching. Um, Going back to football a bit, Kyler's um, sack totals have been pretty drastically reduced compared to early in the season last year. But I know you still said the offensive line has some work to do. So what do you still want to see improved? And the fact that you guys have done a pretty good job in those numbers, does that mean the group has a pretty high ceiling? I think the group has a very high ceiling. You know, um, we still haven't had one of our – uh, running backs to, to rush over 100 yards. That's an issue that we need to get corrected. Um, we got to find a way to get Kenyon over 100. We got to find a way to get Chase over 100. It's great that, that, that K1 is doing it, but we got to make sure that, that we're providing that, that same level of explosion for our running backs as well. Um, you know, we don't get into sack numbers or, or, or sack percentages or pressure percentages and all that stuff. At the end of the day, is our quarterback getting hit? Um, and we want to make sure that our quarterback is not getting hit. And right now, we've allowed too many hits. Um, so I think our standard is high, and it should be high. Um, this is a very potent offense, and if uh, one of the key factors in our offense is making sure that your quarterback is clean, we need to find a way to make, make sure our quarterback is clean. So in that regard, we still have some work to do. Um, excited for what we've done, but at the same time not satisfied and nowhere near satisfied with what we've done. So there's still a lot of work to be done in that particular regard. Hey, Kelvin, uh, two questions for you. The first is, what kind of teammate is Justin Pugh, and how have you seen him kind of take other guys under his wing? And the second question is, being from Texas, having gone to college in Texas, you obviously are familiar with kind of the, the high school quarterback in Texas. Is Kyler the best to come out of Texas from a, as a, from a high school quarterback standpoint? Um, so as it pertains to Justin Pugh, uh, he's a phenomenal teammate. Um, you know, we, we went to, to, to New York this past weekend, and he took great care of us. Um, uh, we were hoping that we weren't sluggish when we got out onto the field because of all the food that, that Pew provided uh, throughout the weekend. But he is a phenomenal teammate. He's starting to take a leadership role with the offensive line. Um, it's been good and great getting to know him. Um, you know, have, have admired him from a distance, but now being a, being a teammate of his has been really special. Um, as it pertains to, to Kyler and if he's the best quarterback to come out of Texas, um, it's been some good ones, you know. Um, it's hard to say that, and it's still early in his career. Uh, this is year two. Um, so, you know, it's still time. Um, but I would say he's, he's, his accolades precede himself, um, you know, for what, what he did when he was there um, and Allen, um, just north of where we're going to be, well, north 
east, uh, yeah, northeast of where we're going to be playing at. So um, know that his reputation precedes himself. Uh, hey, Calvin, with, with all that you do off the field, just wanted to get your thoughts on the league and everything going on and the fact that half the teams are going to have their stadiums have something to do with the election in three weeks, including here in Arizona. It's a drop-off place for ballots. What's your thought on that and with the election only three weeks away? You know, I think considering um, just everything that's going on with our country and the opportunity to be um, involved in, the, in, in democracy, I think that, you know, as players, as organizations, we also have a responsibility. We have an obligation. Um, the thing is, is, is communities look up to us. Young people look up to us. Um, and when we have an opportunity to lead, we need to take that opportunity to lead. And I think we've, we have that opportunity uh, across the National Football League, the NFL office, and, and teams across the nation. And really honored that our owner um, is, is utilizing the stadium to be an opportunity to be able to you know, give folks and, and provide folks to the opportunity uh, to vote and a place to do so. So excited for, for what the league is doing, um, excited for what our owner and, and the organization is doing, um, and just excited for people to, to, to come out and, and vote and, and know that this is a, an important election, not only nationally, um, but you know what's going on here in Arizona. And to be honest with you, I can't wait until the elections are over because I'm getting tired of seeing uh, Martha McSally and and, uh, and Mark Kelly commercials uh, on, on TV. So hopefully that that stuff will be uh, out of here in a couple of weeks and we can get back to some 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 semblance of reality.